to the Potter Blog site. It is August 25th, 2012, about 7.20 p.m. We had a thunderstorm move through about an hour ago. Our airborne Geiger counter is showing almost 2x of a background. So, I don't expect this to be relatively too hot. Probably less than 30 per minute. Well, I guess post Fukushima that's still very hot. 3x is the max it should be. But uh, the winds from the south and the Jet stream is over North Dakota mostly, so this should not be one of the highest readings we've ever had. What I do here, squeeze out the excess water because water has. Water usually attenuates the radioactivity. So, let's make sure we get out as much as possible. We get a good reading. See on top of there. Almost nothing there. So that's three times background. Our airborne reading went as high as 22 counts per minute. And uh, it averages a little bit over 14. So, wow, this is a very low reading. Lowest reading we've had here in over a year, but the air is coming up directly from the south and the jet stream is far away. So, I mean, we have just seen what is mostly local atmospheric fallout. We'll take another swipe here. This. Wow. Let's check the other side. Hmm. Well, we'll thank uh, the tropical storm over Florida for sending us this weather. They come out of Africa, and there's no Fukushima currently in Africa. So, uh, Maybe it'll hit 5x background. Oh. oh, there it goes. Five times background. That's the max. Right. After just taking a rain reading outside, which maxed out at five times above background, which is very low post Fukushima, we came in to uh, check our live outdoor radiation monitor. And you can see here that the, there was a slight bump. But this is a slight bump. Normally average is about 14. Uh, the peak bumped up to about 20. But the average looks about like it's about 18. I'll we'll go down here. Surface wind map of the country. And this is a south wind right now. We're, we break it up with the storm that came through. And current jet stream. You can see the jet stream is way off over North Dakota. Uh, radar map and another radar map and this is our picture of our outdoor radiation monitor